Welcome back, guys. We're here with Farmhand Mike. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great. You've been to this farm show before, yeah, I Yeah, we it. live like about 20 minutes. We farm. Okay. And uh, yeah, we just took the day off of school because if you come on Saturday, it's always busy. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we picked the right day to come. Yeah, we sure. picked the right day to come. Yeah. First day, it's not very busy. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. What's the name of your YouTube channel? How Farms. Okay. All right. I'll have to check it out All right. sometime. All right. What do you think about that one, Cody? That's the one I want. I think 9330 will pull that one? Yeah, easy. All right. Or, or if we get a new John Deere quad, or quad track, it'll pull it. All right, we got to go over to the John Deere booth, get a quad track, and then we'll pick up the grain yeah, we'll cart on the way the out. Yep. I wonder what these wheels are. There's some nice trailers over there. Yeah, all right, we're here with Brian from Brian's Farming Videos at the Umber First booth. Uh, I guess he's going to sign some stuff for us or something. Uh, yeah, I guess. Thanks. Remember how to spell my name. Yeah. I struggled with yeah, that. I had to put the name in the title. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense. A slow All right. start. Well, we're here with Ryan from How Farms Work. Uh, I guess he's going to sign some stuff for us and sure thing. get us a thumbnail pic, which you probably already saw now, and uh, get an Instagram pic, too. So. Cool. All right. Make, like, two of them. Like one for him and then me and him. Do you want one, Jack? I mean, I can make out four. It's no problem. Okay, I mean, if you want to. Yeah, yeah. problem. I've got a lot of these cards. <laughs> okay, thank cool, you. thank you. All right, what's your name again? Bradley. Bradley. L-E-Y. Okay, cool, thank you. On top of this quad 7500. It's a pretty nice combine. I'm going down first. I'm sliding down. I'm not stepping. Oh, this guy's pretty nice in here. It balances. Yeah, it's an air ride seat like every other seat. Mm, it smells oh. good. Throttle right there. That's different than a John Deere. That's not a horn, bud. The horn's over here. Push it. No, I'm not pushing the horn. That's like your emergency stop button in a John Deere. It's pretty big. Although I wish the seats weren't red, but. 8RX 370. It's pretty cool. Haggy over there. Justin Some, over here. Justin over there. Looks like a cab of a combine right over there. And uh, I don't know, there's a long line to get in this 8RX over here. But, uh, we won't be doing any of that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get in there. It's pretty good. We saw a video on the cab. Waiting in line. Getting the road track. You know that's the wrong color. Get really? Yeah. You're getting my picture on there, aren't you? Look at the creek. You see the creek? Pretty cool farm model down there. Huge, huge thing. Seat for the side. It'll be much more comfortable now. 
Alright, so back again. Day number two. Uh, we're walking around for about an hour here today. Uh, we're going to the tractor pool later tonight. We got to load up some some hitches we bought yesterday. And uh, so I'm just going to walk around and see if I missed anything from yesterday. So look around. It's actually like five o'clock right now, so and uh, we'll go to the tractor pool at seven. All right, so I just made it over here and uh, found Ron from Hartung Family Farms. So, everything to say? I'll say it sounds like he's got a great channel from what he's got going so far. Be sure to check him out. I'll say it's he's got a pretty cool yeah. setup just from the camera. I mean, yeah. it's it's innovative. It's not just the copying Walker Farms type of setup. <laughs> yeah, the it's Walker a, a, Farms setup. Just about everyone has that. Yeah. I'll say I got a I I don't got as nice of a setup as you. I just got a little little yeah. magnet melt and. <laughs> just zip tie it. I need a magnet at some point, but oh, it's this, not a magnet. Well, it's a magnet, but it's not. Oh, it's I got gotcha. you. Well, magnet, those are so. those are these are easy to find, like on just yeah. uh, Amazon or anything like that. Yep. So great talking to you. I'll say great talking to you as well. It's yep. nice meeting you. Yep. Especially, well, we want a wheeled one for on the feedlot and everything like that. Uh, we wouldn't, we wouldn't really need one for dirt work. We really like our track John Deere one for that. Uh, fast track. I hear that these things move very fast down the road. World's fastest tractor. There's a wheeled version of the teleskid, or that's actually not a teleskid, that's a, an eco, which doesn't have the telescoping boom like the teleskid does. If you're wondering why I'm carrying around a random ball, it's because some guy at the booth just threw it at me, so I guess I got a free, free ball, free advertisement for this tire company. Okay. We're talking about getting one of these for uh, the 8335, 8235 for planting. Because the only reason we never pick up rocks is because we never have anywhere to put them. So hopefully I can get us hooked up with two of those, maybe one, maybe two of them. And uh, we'll put those on the tractors. Maybe prevent some rocks from going through the combine. Hopefully. Trying to get those tosses really, really long yesterday. Uh, much shorter to get in here today. Never have got in one of these. Uh, this is the new Claw 7500. I think I was in the video previously. But I do like this handle. It's actually more comfortable than it looked in in the videos I've seen. I don't know what the point of this perforated kind of thing here, but I'm sure it does something. But this is actually a very comfortable design here. You got button your auger buttons right there. That would take a lot of getting used to. Uh, your wheel control right there. Or deck plates if you're combining corn. That's your emergency stop. And there's your header height right there. And then your auto steer. And I'm not sure what these buttons do. I guess as a preset you can make. 
This is the knob for your screen. Looks like you're on and off here. Throttle right there. I guess it just clicks back like that. Um, looks like the display has some good movement here. Looks like it moves all the way from down there. Um, you got this window back here. Um, you got place for another monitor. Lights, I'm guessing, up here. Air condition, heat, flashers up there. Huge green tank. I was on there earlier yesterday. Huge green tank. Huge. I guess your air condition is under the seat like any other combine. Um, I guess this pops open like a deer does. I guess it looks like, like a cooler or something. It's all insulated. There's a vent going to it, so I'm assuming that would be like a cooler. Cup holders. Very nice. It does have a parking brake on the floor. Um, I do like how it has this on the left, like our 9870s do, rather than the newer John Deere's. And uh, I like how they have the windshield wiper in the middle like that. I know every other class does, but our 9870 is just kind of out there to the side and it kind of gets in the way. Yep. I also have the shock on the door, unlike the John Deere 600 series. I don't know if they've changed that on the 700s, but uh, I, that was always a weird thing to me. Looks like there's something here. I'm not sure what that is. This doesn't have like a compartment like a deer does, but got that. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a mounting. Oh, it's a cup holder. Oh, well, that's sweet. Well. That's pretty much all I got for in here. I guess this is all your settings for your combine here. Um, all out of the way over here. So you're not accidentally hitting them, rubbing on them. I really like this handle here. It's really nice. You don't have to move about, you don't have to move all the way up here to, you know, get to full speed. If You can rather just push it to right here. So, very nice. So, uh, this is Eleanor Rush Farms taking over Haswald Farms. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Hi, Bradley. How are you? Nice good. to meet you. I'm good. Thanks for watching. Um, get to meet some cool YouTubers um, throughout the two days that we were at the show. So uh, that was exciting. And so seeing the video, unfortunately. So please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.